is the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the name Richard Nixon? Watergate. I think uh, that he was the first president to ever went to China. This time Nixon. This is campaign slogan. I got the poster. <laughs> and open the door to China. Um, he might have been a lot of things, but he uh, he did a lot of things. He opened the door to China. Corruption. You know, he opened the door. <laughs> yeah. Well, he had the door. He, he, I mean, he, and, and he made it. He made it. He made it. And he made it through all the things that he went through. He, and, he, and he became president, and then, then he went down. But he made it. Yeah, he did make it. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the name Gerald Ford? Hardening Nixon. <laughs> Gerald Ford? Gerald Ford is, uh, that's uh, President Carter, uh, 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 Gerald Ford. He, 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 he that, that's his, uh, that's his, that's Ford's, uh, wife, right? Uh, Gerald Ford replaced Nixon. <laughs> Not light on his feet. <laughs> um, no, Gerald Ford was the president. Gerald Ford? Oh, Gerald Ford? Uh, he was okay. okay. Um, he did all right. Um, What's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the name Jimmy Carter? Peanuts. Okay. Peanuts. Good guy. Uh, humanitarian. Killer rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Put the price up on peanut butter. Full of a lot of kids. He was a peanut farmer. Yeah, he was. But he did a lot of things too. He did a lot of good things. I mean, I find a lot of good things and a lot of bad things. And I'll tell you the good things and the bad things. Okay. Um, how about Ronald Reagan? Ronald Reagan? Yeah. He was quite a guy. Ronald Reagan, uh, bad actor, chimpanzee. Morning in America. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you say Ronald Reagan? No one I, rep no one I represented. Okay. No one I liked. He was quite a guy. He was a, uh, he was quite a guy. I, I just can't, can't say anymore. He was quite a guy. Okay. First thing that comes to mind. Comes to mind when you hear the name George H. W. Bush. Read my lips. You mean the one that's now? No, not the one now. The one a couple years back. He was a good guy. He was. Uh, he, he, he did a good job. Um, George H. W. Bush. George. Uh, that's Papa Senior, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. You know, he wasn't in there all much. Uh, all I remember about him is he beat my governor to caucus. Really? That's all I remember about him. I'm a Democrat. What can I say? <laughs> Didn't like him either. Um, first thing that comes to mind when you hear the name Bill Clinton. Big hair. Not at all. Bill Clinton was, uh, he opened the door to. To, uh, to, the, to the new generation, I call it the new generation. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bill Clinton was the first one I, I actually voted for. Really? And won. <laughs> and then they played that stupid uh, Fleetwood Mac song over and over during his inauguration, during you know the victory speech and all that. But yeah, Clinton I liked. All right. He played the sax in our city hall. Like Clinton. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. How fast can the world go? You know, when you kind of have sex in the bathroom, in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the white house. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how fast the world is going. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I couldn't blame him. Um, in your opinion, how has the role of government changed since the 70s? Government has gotten a lot more intrusive and a lot more inept. Okay. Um, in your opinion, how has the role of government changed since the 70s? 70s? Jesus, I'm, uh, I'm 60, uh, I'm 63. The 70s, 80s, 90s, 
in 2009. I don't, I don't really quite remember. I, I, I really don't. I, I don't really recall the 70s. The 70s, I don't really recall. Since the <laughs> 70s, well, I was in high school in the 70s. Since the role of government, what kind of interview was this? Just role of government in the 70s. Well, I, I think the media has opened up a lot to the public because uh, in the 70s you didn't have as much media uh, outreach as you do now. I mean, there's a, everybody with a video camera, everybody's got, you know, live feeds. You didn't have that in the 70s. So I think the role of the government has been more opened up. 70s. Uh, 70s to me, they're, they're Yeah. And if you call my attention to the 70s, uh, uh, for some instance, you, you might be able to jog my mind a little bit about the 70s. Yeah. But I, I, I don't really know. Oh, that's fine. Well, I think with Bush's administration, he's gotten um, too much power. He's taken away power. Uh, I would say the public knows more about the role of government. I, say, uh, I don't know if I'm giving you the right answer. In yeah. my opinion, in the 70s, everything was more uh, of a hush hush deal with the government. You, know, you just did what the government told you, you're supposed to abide. But now, in the you know, 25, 30 years later, there's more challenging to the government. You know, before the protests were wild and they were, you know, out of control, but now the protests have legitimate rights. You've got more points of view, things like that. So, you know, I think, think you'll. Know, Public's eyes are open up a little more wider. You know, they know what's going on in their government. So I think the role of government probably, you know, getting get a little more relaxed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Is that helping you? Yeah, thank you. All right. uh, and finally, in your opinion, what should the role of government in America be? That government governs best, which governs least. Uh, I think, uh, I think the people should uh, have a little bit more control over over what he what they gotta say yeah, and uh, less government. I mean, government is is, 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 is is you know they have a good purpose for the for the war right. and, uh, and, and 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 things like that because uh, wars wars need to have the government you know you know they, they don't need the people to say you know we're not gonna have war with China or we're not gonna have war with Iraq. The people the, the government needs to say, but well, we need to be free. One final question. Um, in your opinion, what should the role of government be? God. <laughs> you know, you're asking a guy who, you know, is like an anarchist, troublemaker. It's better not go on the air. Uh, uh, the role of government should be you know, for the people, by the people, blah, blah, blah. You know, I think a question, I wouldn't know how to answer it. Uh, the role of government uh, should be uh, more or less, um, oh Chris, what do you guys do this? I mean, you know, why couldn't you give me a trivia question or something? Uh, I think the role of government should be a little more relaxed. Not so rough tight. Uh, not so much double talk. It's like every time George W. says liberty and freedom and independence, it sounds like garbage in his mouth. You know, it's too much double talk. You know, try not to. Try not to tell us what we want to hear. Tell us, you know, the facts, the truth. Don't, don't try and snow, snowball it. Try and give us what we want to hear. Don't hand us a lot of nonsense. You know, everybody's doing the talking for someone else. The president's got people who write his speeches, and the people who write those speeches are being advised by advisors. You know, and it's a lot of double talk, and it's a lot of, you know, it's it's like a sham. You know, nobody's nobody's selling to you straight face to face. What should the role of government be? Yeah. Well, it should be broken down so each branch, each branch checks the other branch. And, uh, and yeah, but he's he's manipulating it to his benefit. And nobody's doing anything about it. It's scary. Yeah. If we want to be free, the government needs to go in and go get them. Yeah. Whatever it needs. If, if uh, like Bush said. Uh, all people want to do is be free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some people just don't want us to be free. So, that's about it. So, that's about all I can say. And I think that's what the people are looking for is somebody who will just talk to you face to face and give you 
plain and simple, you know, facts without 14 syllable words. You know, you go to a pharmacist to explain what's on the label, and they're using uh, Harvard Medical School terminology and you know, Latin, and it only takes the clerk up in front of the store to break it down for you, you know, four easy steps. So the government needs to break it down for us. It needs to be a little more simple for us, you know, yeah. without, without putting us in the dark. You know, they think they're doing right by us, but then we walk away going, Huh? Um, George, the current George Bush. Hope he's out of there as soon as possible. Can't understand why anybody ever elected him the first time, let alone the second time.